Hello students, welcome to another screencast. This is your instructor, John Mendiola, and we're working to flash an action script. And this is something you're probably going to do a lot of in your project, which is having buttons that make movie clips play in some shape or form. So, uh, real quickly, I have a button here that I made. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's this button right here called Make Christian Move. And that's all the button is, right? It has a slight hover state, it turns yellow, that's it. And I have this, now this is not just a picture, if I open this up, this is actually a movie clip, okay? And it just goes up and down and up and down like that, all right, real short. Now, the thing is, if I get rid of this here, and I save that, Here's what's going to happen. Let's go back to scene one. Let's just test this movie real quick. Right here, this is what we had before. It takes me there. But even though this is a button, it's not doing anything yet because I haven't registered it. And this just keeps playing over and over and over again. This kind of dancing that Christian's doing. What we're going to do is have it hold still and then not move until we click this button. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into Christian's uh, movie clip. Put it right here in the first frame. We're just going to put stop like that. Save that. How to prevent it from moving all by itself. Now let's go back to scene one. Alright, go in here and I have this button here. What I need to do is give it an instance name. And I'm just going to give it the same name as is the name of the thing, which is make Christian move. Alright, save that. Now what I also need to do is give this an instance name. This is needs to be registered as normal. This needs an instance name because it's going to be referred to in the function for the button. So I'm going to call this instance um, Christian Move. In this case, I call it the same thing as is the name of the movie clip. We only have one instance of it, and it's right here. Now that I've got those things set up, what I'm going to do is go up here to my actions layer and open up my actions frame. And it's going to be very similar to before, so it's going to be called Make Christian Move. Remember, this is the instance name not the name of the button itself. And event listener mouse event click. Give it a function name. I'm gonna call this play Christian move. Now I'm gonna define my function play Christian move e mouse event colon void brace, and this is where it, the important part is, not just playing, like playing the whole timeline like we did before, that's playing just a specific thing on the timeline, so I have to have the dot syntax here in play. So now I'm going to use an instance name of that movie clip, which in this case is just Christian move dot play with a brace. Let's see if this works out. So again, instance name of the button, all this stuff function name. Here's the function name. Here's the instance name of the movie clip that needs to play. Got that. Let's test this out. Well, this is working as before. We had set this up before. I enter and it takes me to this frame. Good sign that this isn't moving, right? We want him to hold still. I click on this button and hopefully what happens is when I click this button he'll start moving. But only once because it's a stop command. It's going to loop all the way around back to that stop command and stop at frame one. Perfect. Try it again. Click. Moves up and down, and then he gets that stop command that was built into his movie clip, and he stops. So again, this is something you're probably going to do a lot of in your project. You have a button in one spot, and then a uh, movie clip that's going to play only when uh, the button is clicked. Another way to do it is to have the button not be a button, but be a movie clip that is button capable. And so you click that thing itself, just the movie clip. You don't need extra buttons. You click the movie clip, and the movie clip interacts, or something else happens. So again, this is how we can make movie clips react to buttons. We'll have more videos coming up.